Hello, in this video, we're going to install Winamp and start streaming to our Shoutcast server. First, we need to download and install Winamp. Start by downloading the Winamp installer from the winamp.com website, and once downloaded, launch it. You can use all the default options during installation. Next, download and install the Shoutcast DSP plugin. Again, the default options can be left during installation. On first launch, Winamp will ask you to pick a skin. You can pick any. I'm going to use the default Bento skin. Next, it will ask you to set file associations. You can leave these as is if you are already using a different media player. Once Winamp has opened, Select Options and then Preferences. Scroll down to Plugins, then select DSP Effect. Double-click Nullsoft Shoutcast Source DSP to configure the plugin. In your browser, log into your Voscast client area to find your Shoutcast server information. Back in the Plugin Options, select the Output tab and the Login sub-tab. Copy across your server address, port, and password. By default, your server will be running Shoutcast 1.9.8. If you have not switched to 2.0 or later, then make sure you tick Use Shoutcast V1 Mode for legacy servers. On the Directory sub-tab, enter your station name, address, and genre. Tick Make This Stream Public to be listed on the Shoutcast directory. Finally, enter your AOL Instant Messenger, ICQ, and IRC details. If you don't have these or know what they are, just leave them at their default values. On the Encoder sub-tab, change the encoder type to MP3 encoder and the encoder settings to match your server's maximum bitrate. For example, if you have a 64 kilobits per second server, then select 64 kilobits per second, 44,100 hertz stereo. Click the Connect button to connect to the server. If all your settings are correct, the Connect button will now read Disconnect, and under Status, you will see the time and data ticking upwards. Finally, play some audio in Winamp, and it will be streamed to the server. Note there will be a slight delay between audio played in Winamp and what is heard on the stream. Thanks for watching. For more helpful articles, tutorials, and videos, please read our extensive knowledge base on our website.